Well, I did it, boys. I went and I got a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray mm-hmm. player. Yeah, my man. Yeah. Nick's going to be happy the rest of his life. I am. <laughs> Until the next purchase. No <laughs> joke, for real, with these fucking speakers, too. This was, I, I've said it a couple times, but it's the biggest smile I think I've seen on your face. Yeah, I mean, it gets better and better every time. No, it, he was smiling pretty pretty big when he was talking about woodworking. No, this tops the woodworking, dude. This There's a glimmer in his eye. This because like, even when I got this TV, I wasn't this happy. No, dude, you yeah, weren't. Yeah. This is pure joy. No, you're actually kind of in a foul mood. I wasn't in a foul mood. No, it was the beginning. It was it was the beginning of him being happy. Yeah. It was the start, you know? Yeah. But Which this was means like that this money was like, can solve anything. Hundred percent, dude. That's I mean, the moral. Of That's the, story. the thing is like people are like, Oh, money won't make you happy. It's like, well, yeah, a fixed amount. <laughs> but if you're constantly amassing more and more money and finding you dumber and dumber dumb ways shit. to spend it. Oh yeah. The idea that like people who make like a hundred million dollars a year aren't incredibly happy. <laughs> like, oh yeah, well uh, actually their kids are pretty depressed. It's like, yeah, they shouldn't have had kids. <laughs> kids are never gonna fucking amount to anything. Yep. But you're you know, if you're, if you're like, the guy that makes the money, right? If you're like Shkreli or some shit, even though he's like having a rough time right now, yeah, that's a bad example. Yeah, yeah. well, that, that's because worst. that's because the government's trying to fucking take his money away from him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you fucking there you go. <laughs> the piece of shit government there won't let him live his life. Welcome back Nick's to part of the problem. Into libertarianism <laughs> has commenced. <laughs> no, I'm all for taxes. Taxes are fine. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. bullshit is Up like season. the government fucking bringing charges against a guy just because he's ugly and Albanian. <laughs> no, fuck Albanians, dude. That's my stance. Fuck, fuck Albanians. Fuck half of Ashton the Bronson. Which, the so, vermin of Europe. I mean, what's their deal? There's three of them. The two of them are boys. One's a girl. And they live in the Warner Brothers Tower or... <laughs> yeah, the, the Albamaniacs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where fucking... There's some sort of cat Shkre- or something. Shkreli is the youngest of the... the the, anime. the anime. He, he does dot. look like one of them. Yeah. The and, girl. And that's where they're going to, to jail him is the Warner Brothers. <laughs> when he does get locked up. So um, uh, keep an eye on these red lights here. Okay. And if they shut off, then that means that I should have replaced the batteries. Okay. In will the recorder. We, will we lose the recording if they shut off? No, or? it'll just cut off wherever the battery dies. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So this might be a 17 minute episode, guys. Um, yeah. Well, you know what? I got... We'll loop it. Loads of batteries. Hey, there. I got yeah, a bunch man. of. I got a bunch of them. But for whatever reason, sometimes like I'll get like thirty episodes out of one charge with these, mm-hmm. and then other times I get like two episodes. It's when it's really funny, dude. I, no, I think it's, it takes more. I think energy. it's how yeah. high, high the levels are. I think if I set the levels right, it's not a problem. Mm. But anyways, back the to board. the back to the electronics. The consumer electronics corner. <laughs> the consumer cool corner. KKK. <laughs> cool consumer corner <laughs> with Grand Wizard of Savings. <laughs> the Grand Wiz. The Grand Wiz of Savings. <laughs> what else? Don't they have the like Wiz? dragons? The Wiz. The, yeah, the Michael yeah. Jackson, yeah. The no. Wiz. The Black Wizard. No, of the now? fucking uh, the, the, the electronics store. The Wiz. Oh, yeah, the Wiz. Is. Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. I don't. But that's, uh, it's that, but it's the, Come grand, on down. the grand whiz. Come on down the road. It'd be funny if the Black Wizard of Oz was actually mm-hmm. the Grand the Wizard K-K-K. of Oz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Grand Wiz. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it really does make a difference. And having Move on out. Because, you know, you can stream 4K, but it always looks kind of choppy. The frame mm-hmm. rate's always fucked up. And there's like buffering issues. And so you need the 4K. You need Blu-ray. Need, need, need is the word. Blu-ray you player. absolutely need it. I mean, this is the only way to. I'm watching Mad Max for the fifth time. Yeah, this shit rocks. And I saw it in theaters. A little disappointed <laughs> because they let you know who's in there. So even though it's a big screen and the sound is good. The experience is ruined <laughs> by Asian people. There it is. You yeah, didn't know. That's, yeah. You guys are probably Who's. guessing black. Oh, no, I don't mind that. In fact, I, I only watch shit with DVD commentary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a black, black movie yeah, theater. Black movie theater. It's just watching it's the just movie DVD with DVD commentary. commentary. D- DVD commentary. <laughs> yeah. Um, Debo commentary. D- Debo D. Yeah. Uh, no, the commentary doesn't bother me. What bothers me is uh, 
Asian people the, the to take their heads. shoes off and use their phone. Mm-hmm. Going through the garbage to use, get recycling they, during they, the movie. Yeah, they use they use the movie theater as an opportunity to finally parent their children. <laughs> <laughs> you ask later. <laughs> later. <clears throat> There's not much recyclable though there. Yeah. Popcorn you can't really recycle the bags. You know what would uh, I remember I remember I saw a movie with my dad and some like Filipino family was just talking the entire time. And at the end of the movie my dad's like, I'm gonna ask for a refund and he like made me go with him to the manager's office. Awesome. And the manager was like, Why'd you watch the whole movie? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Yeah, why did we watch the whole movie if you were gonna do this? Yeah. And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm a white American, damn it. Yeah. And a Filipino annoyed me. What movie no, was he, it? Well, he, I can't even remember. He's like, he's one of those guys that's like, uh, like, uh, I'm, I'm going to show them who's never been boss. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, where he thinks he's going to win some dispute with the customer service department and then yeah. they, just, they just hang up on him. <laughs> <laughs> and not, nothing changes. Nick, well, you're, you're actually very persistent with uh, customer service you representatives. You really are. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I guess lately I have been. Yeah. You're I mean, always on the on the phone. Well, lately. I used to be. I used to be a call center guy, so I don't you know. I know how to speak mm-hmm. to them. You know the biz. Yeah. Yeah. You know I the used, secret code. I used to work at a call center, and I would fucking. I hated my job, and I hated being on the phone all day long. Mm-hmm. And then I would get home, and I would get drunk on my porch. And prank call the call center <laughs> that you worked at that I worked at. <laughs> <laughs> and what I, a fucking stupid <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I worked there, I knew exactly what to say to keep people on the phone right. for it was like yeah, yeah. an hour and a half. Just out of like <laughs> ruin someone's night. That's so fucking And just funny. pretend to be like an old woman that's like and you know, I'd be like, I need help setting up my email. <laughs> and, then, and then I had all this screens memorized so like i would get them to help me through like almost every step of the way and at the last one i'd be like okay well and then they're like now click start and i'm like where's start and then they're like down on the bottom of the screen and like they've already been through this with me and be like is it where it says finder and i would like drop hints that it was a completely different operating system like change the entire oh, like max at the <laughs> at the very last step <laughs> and then they would lose their fucking minds and have to restart the entire process <laughs> <laughs> there was always just like inconsistencies in the way so the way how do they track whether you're a good employee because you were clearly were not helping. oh they didn't give a shit i mean oh. people quit so often and I remember there was one time, first of all, everyone that worked there, imagine this, a workplace with 600 people where I am the coolest guy. <laughs> oh, God. Dude. So that, that was like the, the average employee was like the biggest fucking. There was a girl that would bring like a doll and she would sit there and brush its hair. Oh, my oh God. While she was on the phone. There were multiple people that wore tails because they were furries. Yes. They would Damn. like, yeah. And they would Hell like see yes. each other and be like, those little burr, fox burr, tails. Burr. Yeah, like they were. No, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, there was a guy that had like a shirt that was like. <laughs> they would bark at each other. Oh, yeah. Dude. They were fucking. They were gay as shit, dude. There was this one guy. There was this one guy that had a fucking like uh, a shirt that was Hell like, yes. uh, you know, like bomb squad coming through or something. But yeah, like bomb yeah. squad was crossed off and it was like tech support. Oh, and God. That guy also had like a. Like a like a theatrical cane, like yes. a long cane, with like a skull on the yes. top. That he didn't Fuck. need that. He <laughs> that is so awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, oh man. Yeah. No, there were so there were so many of those people. But did I, they, they hang out like after work with no, each other? No. No nobody, one did. There was a break room that always just smelled fucking awful. Yeah. Um. Yeah. There was like I remember there was one hot girl that worked there. Oh, I and her. again, because it was like I yeah, was yeah. cool. I had like had supreme confidence. I just like went up to her and was like, "Hey, yeah, we should like hang out sometime." I were like, "I was like, hey, what's your name?" She like turns around. She's like, "Hi, I'm Cassandra," and she was like, just oh, hot, but no. a complete nerd. Oh, <laughs> no. I was like, "Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm sorry." You noticed the foxtail hanging yeah, out of her skirt. Talk to her for like ten minutes and then. Dude, come on! Ne- never again. Outside <laughs> is that the girl? Is that the girl whose Oreos you ate? <laughs> the Down syndrome girl or whatever? No, not Down syndrome. What are you talking about? Uh, Aspergers. What, what are you talking about? I don't remember that. What? There was a girl. 
a girl that you said had autism or whatever? Oh, that was in New York when he was I dating know. that Asperger's girl. I was making girl. a joke about... Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke you about You can that. have two or three. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking... What a monster. <laughs> <laughs> nice tits, though. You wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah. fuck a nerd that was hot, dude? Um, it would, like, like she smelled bad. Like, she, oh, had, not, she didn't smell bad, but she had that smell bad aura where it was yes. like, this is just... No, I, yeah, I lost interest. Mm-hmm. I know what you're saying. I, I, I understand where you're coming from, but I, I, I don't know what particular nuance or what it was in the context of that situation. I know what you mean. That made me pull the plug on that. Because there's a vibe of like, not just nerd, but like just uncool in like a high school way. Like That I like, can, that I'm fine with. It's It was just, there was something like, you know, from 20 feet away, it was like, yeah, she's like pretty. And you're like, oh, never mind. It's like the Ren and Stimpy close-ups. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah. Sort of like that. Anyhow, there was one time at that call center where there was this uh, there was this guy, like, we didn't have assigned seating or anything. We just had these, like, small cubicles. And there's this guy, two cubicles across from me. And all the cubicle dividers were, like, translucent. Mm-hmm, so you right. could see through them, sort of. Mm-hmm. And you had, like, a, some degree of privacy. And this guy would bring his laptop and just watch Legend of Zelda oh, Wind, yeah, Wind Waker videos. This guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he was like sitting right next to his boss. And he's on the phone with somebody. And he's like, no, sir, click again on that section. Click again. And then he would mute the phone. Be like, you fucking imbecile. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and unmute. Like, just keep trying. Just, cl- just, cl- f- you'll find it. You'll click on the right thing. Mute. You cunt. You fucking cunt piece of shit. Well, like, you know, like Zelda is like hopping yeah. around in the fucking background, and like it's like boss has to come over and like put his uh, hand on his shoulder and be like, Jer- Jeremy, Jeremy, <laughs> calm down. Eventually, he lost it and like hung up on the guy. And he's like, All I want is to make my fucking hot chocolate. And the boss had to like go into the break room and make his hot chocolate for him and bring it back to him. And it's like, Good God, pull that man off the front line. Yeah. <laughs> he's shell shocked. There is a too much for him being a fucking <laughs> man, dude. Maybe Republicans are right. <laughs> like, a, like, um, the call center was too much for that guy, dude. What a oh, piece of sure. shit. Well, what's hilarious is like, you know, it was, uh, like ten years ago, everyone bitched about like you call a call center now, you get some guy in India. Oh, they do I know a way his, better job. I know his name isn't Tony. Yeah, he's lying to me, saying his name's Tony. It's like, why do you need to know Vikram's name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it exactly. doesn't fucking matter at all. <laughs> he's polite, his name he's is quick. Tony because of people like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking complained about his name being Vikram. Yeah. But I do that. I have to call Amazon all the time because like fucking every every courier service in New York is like trash. And I know there's mm-hmm. a UPS guy that listens to this show. Shuts he, out. He probably hasn't. Guy. He probably hasn't delivered. He was shit. at Skankfest. He like probably guy, hasn't yeah. delivered shit outside of New York where things actually show up. Fucking ninety percent of the time. Yeah. I mean, it's like a fifty percent failure rate mm-hmm. when I get shit, and I do everything through Amazon now because it's fucking easier. But yeah. half the time it requires like calling Amazon customer support and saying like, "Yeah, UPS isn't delivering this shit, so get on them." And That's Amazon, wild, dude. Amazon has like way more leverage than you do as like just a consumer, right? Because they'll call call up UPS and be like, yeah, we're going to have this driver thrown in jail. Uh, <laughs> deported. Uh, and, and Hell yeah, dude. Bezos, most, baby. Yeah, dude. Most of the time I'll get like a Malaysian person that'll help me. And, in the call center? And they're so they're so much more effective. Polite. Oh, yeah. And when you get like just some fucking bitch from, you know. Oh, my God. Nashville yeah. or wherever the other one is. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You know. Excuse me, sir. How, uh, good, good afternoon. How dare you call Amazon? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tanisha. <laughs> How may I hang up on you today? <laughs> yeah, they always I will say not you're be yelling. taking notes. <laughs> On this call, I'm, my hands are busy right now. <laughs> I will not remember any of this. And it won't go into the computer. Is there a number I can never call you back on if we get disconnected? Yes. Um, uh, there's an IT guy in my old office. I want you to call 911 <laughs> and report yourself. <laughs> Tell them there's an armed woman. They'll yeah. know which one. <laughs> Amazon always delivers my shit, dude. I don't know what it is. Maybe they don't respect you. I don't know. You know what it is? I think the doorbell doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. your doorbell doesn't work. It hasn't worked no, for months. I, no, I just don't answer the door when you... 
I know. Well, you. I know. I know that you ring yeah. the bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a disrespect. It's a disrespectful bit. It's not a disrespectful. It is thing. completely disrespectful. Well, making me waiting down there. Disrespectful for you to assume that I'm going to stop what I'm doing to answer the door for you to do the yeah. show that I we're here fucking, to record. I'm not on your schedule. <laughs> when I say we start at one, it, that doesn't mean you come at twelve fifty eight. It also doesn't mean that you come at fucking one oh two. Oh, you come really? at one o'clock. <laughs> you got a sixty second window. And if if you're not there at one o'clock, <laughs> guess who's starting another round of conquest on Battlefield One? <laughs> Me. And those are thirty minute matches. <laughs> those are so long. Dude, if I have if I have a, a five six plus kill streak, you better believe I'm not g- getting up and ruining. Mm-hmm. It. This is the respect I'm talking about. It does about, make guys. sense. You have to give it to him. That makes sense. What he just said. Uh, no, it does not. Make I think it makes sense. absolute yeah, yeah, sense. Yeah. You may think it's corny or you know sort of embarrassing that I'm uh, I dedicate that much time and effort to gaming, but you know what? I'm a fucking millionaire. <laughs> so maybe you should have spent Fuck. the entirety of your early twenties and teen years gaming your way. Mm-hmm. To a level of respect, yeah, yeah, I respect you, and I respect the, the way game. I get the way I get Nick to <laughs> open the door for me is I am playing Battlefield uh, from my phone, yeah, somehow, yeah. And I message him on the PS4 messaging system, the PSP messaging system, and that's how the that's close, actually the, the closest best, Adam gets to direct. playing Battlefield is going like. World War One. What is that like? Alsace and Lorraine? Is it something like that? <laughs> Was it something like? Yeah. Oh, like uh, like von Richthofen? Is that like? What's something? Alsace? This is actually really uh, not accurate because uh, most of the time it's been in uh, the the bunkers. It's weird how like the German medals had French names. Doesn't everyone else know that? Yeah. Don't we all know that? Yeah, that's just a tidbit. It's an that observation I that I. Did I'm they making. really do? Right. Some of them, yeah. They're like, got French. Name. Pour, pour, pour la mairie. That's a German medal. Yeah, all their the, all the medals. Is that for me? Yeah. The gayest in the army. Yeah, it is. The most dick sucks. Get the pour la mairie. Yeah. Oui, oui. I'm going to Paris. I am gay. That's good. What did you guys do on the fourth? Sucking no fair man. <laughs> put his dick in <laughs> your ass. <laughs> From France. <laughs> That's our the official national their anthem. theme song. <laughs> <laughs> the intro music to France. <laughs> they don't have an anthem. <laughs> they have, they a, have jingle. a jingle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's used to sell baguettes also. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but you pronounce that's the way it with an F. There. Of course. Yeah. That's the way they, you know the way uh, they store, they transport baguettes. In their ass. In their ass. Yeah. Because yeah. they're yeah. always well, on a bicycle. Yeah. Like uh, when you see a French guy, they go by and they've got the baguette coming out of the front of the bicycle. You go like, oh, where's your friend? And he goes, what friend? And you go, the one that sits on the front of the bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> that thing shoved up his ass. <laughs> That's your right. fucking hamburger looking bitch. <laughs> we saved your ass in every war. That's right. Every single one of the wars. Vietnam, World War II, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, North That's Korea, mm-hmm. Russia. It is funny how much Vietnam Jamaica. really was just. The Jamaican, the Jamaican war Jamaican that wars. we saved your ass in. <laughs> It's wild that Vietnam Vietnam was because of French people, dude. Mm-hmm. Well, Those I mean, they were assholes. just there first. Nah, come on. Yeah, fuck. it was their fault. It was French it was colonialism's their fault. fault. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, there would have been no reason for communism. If if the Vietnamese were allowed to just, you know, eat berries and do karate or whatever the fuck <laughs> yeah. was going on on that godforsaken yeah. shithole. beat up by Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Before they showed up Sex in their linen suits. Sex trafficking each other <laughs> and, and pressing on nails. <laughs> they wouldn't have needed to... to become a <laughs> who do you think really won the Vietnam War you know? uh, I think that the I think we did I think that we did yeah I don't think we've ever lost a war we won it if you think about it because because you know I don't see any American women painting the nails of fat Vietnamese ladies that's yeah that's true. true you know what I mean you know what I think about a lot of time is like the French and Indian War and uh-huh. how bad that must have smelled <laughs> 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 it was actually It was um, Punjabis <laughs> It was actually in, in These Indians Yeah it was Nick. a cook off <laughs> <laughs> God damn <laughs> The two smelliest The smelliest French fat guy And the smelliest fat Indian guy wrestling <laughs> 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 Please, it just smells like the fucking the chew tree outside of the Chuck E. Cheese ball pit. Remember how bad that shit smelled when you were a kid? Disgusting. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh, yes. 
You never like put an your shit ogre there. guarding the uh, the ball pit. Do you ever have a weird friend that sniffed that shit? No. no. Oh yeah. Adam reacted kind of personally there. No. no. It wasn't me. No. Did you sniff it, you fucking weirdo? No. Uh, but he's fucking smelling all the about- dirty shoes, and he's like, <laughs> "Actually, it's pheromones." He's like yelling some fact at the other kids. It is the most common. And the fetish. other kids were like, "Fuck you, bitch." I don't think you're it's never going to be on fetish. a podcast. It is. It's the most. It's the most common fetish. Foot fetish. No, it's just the most. Is that like, what you're yelling at the other kids in the ball pit? I was told recently <laughs> by a friend. It's the most actually the most common one. No, this is it, normal. Now you're deaf now. And it's weird. I don't know anyone that says they are, are one. Free win, and I'm deaf. Do you know anyone? Like, I don't know. Papas. He he's, he's openly foot foot fetish. Mm-hmm. It's so Greek funny. The only people I know that are open. I feel like that kind of shit is like. Specifically with New York comics, it's like almost like a put on. That really that didn't, that didn't like. Chappelle and, says he's and, a foot fetishist. And being into like trans women, I'm sure I'm sure they are, but I feel like there's like a little bit of a put on. That's like part Why? of a, a New York comic identity. To be um, like, I like feet. I've seen yeah the the look in Giannis's eyes was the same when he was describing feet as you describing your electronics, dude. Yeah, I don't want to fuck electronics. You do. You could if there was a way to. To fuck your sound system. No, actually, either. there is. That's an option when you spend seven hundred dollars on a receiver. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to a receiver. Of you will for your because dick. it's passive entertainment, dude. Once I don't you, like to. I don't like to fuck anything. Once you've maybe bought if it everything, sucked my dick, sure. That, that's what I'm saying. But I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. Okay, what I think you will I don't have, have a choice. If I didn't have a choice, dick. if if a piece of machinery first <laughs> <laughs> came into your house and said, "I'm going to suck your dick," mm-hmm. first of all, there's very little you could do about it if the machinery had made its mind. Put its mind, yeah. I said it uh, <laughs> are, so you, are, you, are you John Connor? <laughs> <laughs> that movie is just, yeah. he sucks him off. <laughs> <laughs> I am from the future. <laughs> they reprogrammed me to, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but in the future, this is money. <laughs> we, uh, there's no more currency, so we have to. I have to do this because it is giving you money. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very rich man in the future. <laughs> you owed a lot of money. I think about like the colonists that came to America, like the explorers or whatever, and like you know they meet the Native Americans, and the Native Americans are like bringing them like a a dead dog with some bones shoved in its head, and they're like, oh, this is a sign of respect <laughs> in our culture where we're from. And like if there there had to have been at least one col- col- uh, colonist that was like, you know, oh well, what we do is. Uh, uh, as a sign of respect is we put our, our penis in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> as like a gift. Yeah, dude. So we, we have to respect each other. So yes. I, I'm taking your dog thing. You got to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's how South America was created. Mm-hmm. That's Portugal, dude. Yeah. Just that's why they talk with that Port- list. Portugal. <laughs> I am their from. Are, I am from, from Brazil. Generations of having a man's dick in their mouth. I am from Brazil. I love to fuck and to dance. <laughs> what a funny country, dude. Yeah. There's half Nazi, half like slave descendant dancing. Yeah. It's so what, funny how Brazil? much how much slavery yeah. was going on in Brazil. So much. When people are like Argentina's the Nazi. The one. United States Brazil. Yeah. The United States Argentina, has such both. a dark history. Yeah, with yeah. slave, I mean, which we do, but of course. you compare it to fucking Brazil, Jesus well, Christ. Well, every I think basically everyone has slaves if they could, if they can, like in history. Yeah, Most but shitty civilization. You know, Most, that's like that's the thing where it's like you talk about the Holocaust and people are like, "Well, every culture has been genocided." It's like, yeah, but that's not the conversation we're talking about. We're talking <laughs> right, right, about right. the Holocaust, right? And like this specific, and also instance. not at that level of genocide. That was some real fucking. Yeah, that was some real deal. Like, they they had like spreadsheets to mm-hmm. make sure the genocide. Yeah, was going IBM on. IBM made the computers. That's wild, dude. Yeah, twelve thousand Jews died. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, those aren't my. I've seen eight thousand. You say eight? I've seen eight. Okay, I stand corrected. <clears throat> um, if yeah. you buy enough I, IBM I, I, stuff, I, they give you those spreadsheets. The number I got <laughs> yeah. was zero. Exactly zero Jewish people died in between 1938 and 1944. It's so funny that uh, even their natural even death natural causes. didn't happen. There's a uh, 
a Holocaust revision and <laughs> revisionist con- uh, conference in uh, I like to, what I like to call it is uh, the Holocaust uh, colon director's cut. <laughs> 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 well, if we were going to just redo it with the original vision where we weren't constrained by the studios, <laughs> uh, we would have shot them all in uh, in, I in to, 70 millimeter. I used to do a bit about um, how I got Schindler's List uh, deluxe Blu-ray DVD and uh, there was... Uh, 40 extra minutes of hilarious bloopers. <laughs> that sounds like a great bit. Yeah, it didn't really work that well. Is it, does it work because you say Blu-ray? Do you like mess up saying Blu-ray a bunch? Is what that, did I say? No, no, I'm, I'm saying in the bit. Do you do like a comic like... Oh, yeah, messing something uh, up. Yeah. Blu-ray? A, a, bl- a, bl- a blue ultra ray, a Blu-ray. Don't, don't, uh... 1040, don't criticize my, my affectation. 10-4K. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's a 10-4K UH. Is that oh. where the crux of the bit lies? That's fun. No, the crux of the stuff. bit is that, uh... There's you do it the same way every single time. Yeah. Steven Spielberg like thought it was up. funny to I put did, bloopers. I did a sex, uh... <laughs> I did a sex... Um, Anyway, there was this Holocaust. There was this Holocaust revisionist. Conference. I don't know how to speak. Isn't that funny? That I, I, when Ahmadinejad was in charge of Iran, he had a oh, Holocaust. Oh, Ahmadinejad. Shut the fuck up. There's when, this guy, Ajim Ajim and Junejad. I said his name the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Ahmadinejad. I said his name the right way because I respect. Um, yeah, he had a he had a Holocaust revisionism conference, and the like dais on the stage was just him. And then, like, all these, like, uh, do, like South Williamsburg, like, Ottoman on the head, like, ultra-Orthodox Jews. Because there's really? a sect. Yeah, there's yeah. a sect of ultra-Orthodox Jews who, like, don't believe in Israel and they don't believe in the Holocaust. What? Because they think that Jews can only return to the Holy Land when the Messiah comes. So they think so it's, they like... Don't, they don't so think they, Jesus... Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. So they think it's, like, sacrilege. So, but the picture of, like, the, <laughs> the cut, the anti, the, like, Holocaust That is an revision. awesome picture. Yeah, yeah. The day is just so funny. Jews. Dude, Whatever been... happened to Ahmadinejad? He was around. He was doing shit. He's out. Doesn't he have a Twitter now? Um, yeah, I think he joined Twitter. He's a shit poster now. Yeah, he put... he's a meme aggregator. <laughs> no, that's Chris Rock. I know that sucks that that's the Chris Rock does it. Whatever, man. He came up before that generation. Um, yeah, what we're referencing is that Chris Rock's Instagram is just a meme aggregation. And now it's now it's selfies. He started doing selfies. Oh, that's yeah, good. it's funny how like even the best people become irrelevant at some point in comedy, at least. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't I'm know. Sure, I think the next one he's going to do is going to be good. Can you so imagine the how Netflix much special? How much George yeah. Carlin would suck if he was still alive? If he was doing memes? Yeah. Yeah. If George Carlin was trying to be on social media? Oh my god! Some old guys are not bad at social media though. Yeah, I mean, Norm's not old, but he's not terrible at social media. Although he tweets about golf a lot too. Golf and God, and yeah. Like, oh yeah, he's religious. Too. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's gonna be funny how completely irrelevant all the millennial comedians are gonna be in like. I mean, they're regular. Years. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, my, myself included, and you guys. Not me, baby. I'm gonna reinvent myself. No, as a th- well, I was really surprised man. when the first time I met Nick, you were drunk and having the breakdown at Funny Moms, mm-hmm. and you got on stage. And Brandon Wardell like DM me. He's like, dude, this guy just moved back to town. He's fucking hilarious. He's like one of my favorite comics. You should book him on Funny Moms. And you're like just getting drunk at the bar. And then you like get on stage. You're like, I'll tell you what the fuck this show is. This is the fucking alt comedy bullshit. It was, it was going it was, up on stage. Bullshit nonsense. I mean, it was. It was, dude. It no, was no, 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 no. Which is like, no. It's totally Monty was. was like hiding in a box. He was doing like Monty, a box. Yeah, yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. No, no. I were, thought Chris Milner was faking his accent. <laughs> you thought he was doing a bit. I yeah, thought yeah. somebody was pretending to be British. <laughs> pretending to be a British dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, wow, they've really shit. done a lot of research. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not saying you were wrong. I'm not saying you were wrong yeah, then shut up no no no. but what but let me finish what i thought was like oh this guy's <laughs> like very like because that was around the time when bill burr was like fuck all comedy and that kind of thing but i was saying it way before burr if anything no you're right you're burr right you're right stole oh, it from me wow. okay, okay there you that's go. fun but but then like i saw your twitter and i was like oh he's also a weird twitter guy he's like a club comedy guy and a weird twitter guy it's like a very strange mixture mm-hmm. of two worlds i was very taken aback and then yeah. we became friends, guys. Yeah, you well, I, I would say we were already friends. I was shitting on you. I was shitting on on the show you were on and all of your friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There was it's a difference. Period. Early Funny Moms was very strange. Yeah, yeah it was like because I also I remember you tried to book me tr- and it, but you said no bits. You said, straight up said no. You stand-up. said yeah, don't do stand up. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the original concept. And I was like, that's gay. Yeah, it was gay. <laughs> 
so I didn't. In retrospect, it. highly gay. <laughs> L- like the name itself. Is yeah, pretty yeah. Gay. I wish we could get rid we of that. We could change name. it. We could do something else. It has a good like syllabically. It has a good ring to it, but it's very it just, dumb. Well, it sounds it's so like tweet. A, it sounds like Suck a comedy dick. show. Suck dick. And bully. that's the fucking the, the funniest comedy show name. There was one here called Dog Shit. For a while. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's really Which good. is hilarious. I wish that was the name of Funny Mom. Yeah. You can do it. Like the, that's every yeah. UCB show is like, let's let's do it. Or <laughs> you can let's well, there's one called make Gen- it happen at fucking Tuesday nights <laughs> at UCB East yeah. at eleven. I'd love to do make it happen if you book it. And you're Literal, literally, literally Tuesday. That a real show? I don't know. Literally Tuesday would be a great name for a fucking shit. <laughs> literally, <laughs> no, literally yeah, Tuesday. Nick, you're you're uh you're fucking what was that? Your black comedy night. Uh, <laughs> what was it called? Too hilarious Tuesday. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> 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 Troy the comedian mm. brings you <laughs> apostrophe to comedian. Too hilarious comedian apostrophe. It's L apostrophe apostrophe. International money media production. Way too black. Way too black entertainment. Yeah, so it's like Inc. LLC trademark <laughs> registered, <laughs> like just fucking yeah. went crazy on a business keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> it's just every letter is circled like the C. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like n- there is no chance you filled out paperwork for this. <laughs> too hilarious Tuesdays. Way too much money. Laugh production. makers entertainment, baby. <laughs> Dude, who is that guy in DC? It's always, it's always like a cityscape at night. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and like yes, diamond plate steel letters. <laughs> And then maybe like a lipstick kiss yeah. and then an old timey microphone. <laughs> it's always the radio <laughs> mic. Oh good. The Larry King microphone. Oh, oh God. Me. That's amazing. That so if you remember guys T-Bred? get this, it's, this is very good. Remember yeah. T Bread? He has that mic tattooed on him. <laughs> it's like, well, do you do stand up, man? <laughs> like, Who T Brad you ever used it? T Brad Hudson. T Brad Hudson, baby. He used to run um. He used to run uh, fucking that that show at uh, Timonium and what the fuck was that bar called? Timonium? I thought that's McGooby's. No, no, it was a Sunday. It was a Sunday night show. Is it Coco Lane? No, fuck. Someone told it? me High Timo- Tops. High Tops. Oh, it yeah. was the land of fucking purple camo, dude. It was yeah. awesome. I remember having some jokes there that I thought were ironically racist. And then I told them there and they would crush and I'd do them everywhere else. And it was like, oh, this was just racist and those people <laughs> <Yeah>. are racist. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they had some good wings though, dude. They have 50 cent wings on Sundays. I think that show's not start. I think that show's done. But Man, I miss those terrible shows. Oh, they were, yeah, they were so bad. Dude, I fucking miss. It was like I Sunday miss, night I miss, football. I miss Monday nights at Sidebar so much. It's still popping, dude. That shit was so sometime. well. I'm not drunk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was. Let's great, fucking dude. do coke and weed and <laughs> go do go do sidebar. Yeah. Just a new five every week. Yeah, Always baby. New shit. It was so easy to crush there. I only did oh, yeah, it everyone, once. Yeah, everyone was fucking. Sidebar terrible. was my shit, dude. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I used to go all the time. Uh, my, what I love is that fucking uh, what's his name, Luke. Uh, Oh, big dick Luke? No, what's his real name? <laughs> he has a big dick. He's the the oh, very yeah, time that I know that he has a big dick. That's not what I asked. I said, what is his name? <laughs> I don't know, but his he had name, a beautiful hog. His name, uh, Luke, uh, he had that, he was like a goofy ass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I know, yeah. Um, I, baby, yeah, because yeah, you can, uh, well, y- what you do is you fuck the the baby in its ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But while, while you're fucking fuck. it, it's, you know, dying. <laughs> or something like that Guys this is spot on You don't know Luke But he sounds exactly like this <laughs> Luke um, He was like kind of like A preppier dude Yeah he was like A finance guy Yeah he shit. was like a finance Yeah he did He worked for like Merrill Lynch <laughs> Yeah and he, and he would run that he, money he'd he'd Go just, to Mike's He would go to Mike's To say the most horrific shit But he was a, he was a good joke writer he, he really was He was a good joke writer Luke but Marshall he, Luke Marshall That was it And it, it was like fucking The most offensive jokes But like clever But it's like, like First of all you want to fucking hate him because he's like a finance guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's wearing like khakis or whatever. And he's got such and a, a doofy ass yeah. smile. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, then you you rape her, I guess. You know, and but, he would yeah. smile like a high L, like a high yeah. one of Snow. If Snow White had a Dude, stoned elf, I I I, I like uh, I recommended him for uh, re ride. I remember that I was yeah, there. I went there and he fucking. <laughs> Hated. He bombed his dick off. <laughs> <laughs> hated him. And Kurt hated him. Yeah, Kurt hated him. And he's just like alien.
alienating everybody. I'm laughing. I mean, I think he's funny. I I didn't set him up for failure. It was just like, I am a terrible. You enjoyed it, yeah. No, I'm like a terrible. Judge of. Of of what will sell. I am like, no, everyone that I've been like, that guy's hilarious, like killed themselves. (laughs) And everyone I've been like, that guy sucks. He should quit. Is now has a sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Every single one. Nice. Um, But, uh, yeah, what, what, what are we no, talking no, about? <laughs> he took over the mic and like immediately just assaulted a customer. It was awesome. <laughs> when straight, some straight guy was like talking uh, and he was like, "If you come up here, I'll kick your ass." And the guy, like, <laughs> <laughs> and the guy went on stage and Luke just like beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Wait, what? What was that? Someone Rollo or someone posted a video of like a fight at a mic mm-hmm. in PG County. Oh hell yeah! No, that was yeah. A, yeah. one of those one of those PG County shows. <laughs> Which I remember. Oh, that whole that, that whole crew called? it was like uh Lawrence Owens and and uh Naeem, comedian Naeem, mm-hmm. and then there was like three or four other guys all used to yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe cool. something Fuck, Shut told me about s- someone called s- her name was like I don't know Brittany the original uh Miss Dam the original damn she thick <laughs> Miss the original damn she thick <laughs> Fuck I fucked that up Miss the original damn she thick <laughs> Brittany fucking... the comedian the original <laughs> Miss damn she thick <laughs> I remember uh there's this girl there's this girl Kat Ramzinski in Austin who did some like they used to have these like shitty runs you could go on that were like uh, the, I don't know The Funny Bones Or the Comedy Zones I can't remember I, I never did it But it was like Little Rock uh, Houston And then some other Fucking shit town mm-hmm. You do like mm-hmm. the, all the three of them yeah. Or whatever And you, do, you host like two times And then they let you feature So it's mm-hmm. not a bad deal Actually I don't even remember If that was it But she went On a run of some She went kind. on a run With these two uh, Black ladies from Houston Mm-hmm and Kat had to drive and she was telling this story about like picking them up or like she's going with them and she has her notebook with her and she's going through her notebook and they were like are you journaling or something and she's like no I'm just like working on a bit and they like both burst out laughing they're like you write your shit down <laughs> <laughs> and they're like honey no never no, what you do ne- is watch Monique videos just, and kind of do the her act you, worse you just repeat <laughs> you repeat things you heard somewhere else <laughs> and from no it's not stealing <laughs> if you put your own little sass <laughs> on it <laughs> uh, <fine. laughs> yeah they were like berating her for writing down jokes <laughs> to, be, to be fair I don't think I've written down a joke in like four years yeah um, I yeah, write down I ideas and, and I then like I just fucking I, yeah I've never actually written out a bit once ever I mean wow I, so you sound a lot like these ladies well I write I write down something that'll remind me of it yeah yeah me too like keywords and yeah, stuff yeah 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 um, it, you got to put your sass on it. Yeah, put a little, little, little stain on it, I was laughing, on laughing it, about that, that Cat Williams video again. Where, he's where he gets punched what by a boy? What you want to do, little boy? Yeah, yeah, what so you want to do, he's little boy? Just, <laughs> I can't get believe two that's beasts not, by a child. <laughs> that is the best. <laughs> it is the Come best on, little video boy. of all time. Yeah. The one on the one where he's in a Target and he's giving the people the finger after he slapped the cashier. <laughs> a really good one too, man. <laughs> that one's really good. I love Cat Williams. We got to take a quick commercial break. And we'll be back after this. Hello, everybody. This is Nick, president of the DSA and host of popular radio program Come Town. I'm here to tell you about a new underwear that's better than whatever you're wearing right now. If you got underwear on, take it off, you know, throw it in the trash and get yourself a pair of Mack Weldon underwear. Uh, Mack Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. You buy the underwear online. That way you don't have to face the embarrassment of asking for help at the underwear store. I'm sure we've all been there. The famous underwear store that exists that you can go to. Uh, Mack Weldon will be the most comfortable underwear, uh, socks, shirts, undershirts, hoodies, and sweatpants that you'll ever wear. They have a line of silver underwear and silver shirts that are naturally antimicrobial, which uh, antimicrobial doesn't mean that it'll make your dick less micro penis. It means that they eliminate odor. Uh, Mack Weldon wants you to be comfortable, so if you don't like your first pair of underwear, you can keep it, and they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Uh, not only do their underwear, socks, and shirts look good, but they perform well, too. They, they're moisture-wicking, uh, so you can wear them to the gym. You know, you can take them uh, out on dates with uh, guys or girls, you know, where 
definitely LGBT friendly here. So no matter what your orientation is and what kind of dates you go on, you can certainly wear a pair of Mack Weldon underwear. So go to MackWeldon.com and get 20% off using promo code COMETOWN, all caps, C-U-M-T-O-W-N. Thanks. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> is, this, is this Natalie Ambrulia? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, dude. Torn. Yes, yeah. bitch. It's my playlist. Oh, man. Damn. She's in the beat off. She's in the early beat off Hall of Fame. That Dolby oh, yeah. five point one surround is really kicking, mm-hmm. dude. She had she had like short hair, right? Yeah, yeah. she looked good. Well, oh, it, it, it doesn't sound it doesn't sound as good as it should because this is just uh, Apple Music, which mm. uh, doesn't put everything out in you, you know get, it's a lossy title, format. Dude. Yeah, no. What you need is uh, they make. Uh, Super audio CDs. <laughs> it's completely lossless. <laughs> they don't, I don't think any. I don't think any like commercial music is mastered. Nine Inch Nails. It's none. None of it's mastered in anything other than like stereo. Uh, Nine know. Inch Nails releases all of his albums in lossless. It's more yeah, digital. It's flat. There's loss. Flack. There's yeah. la- lossless meaning it's not yeah. sampled, but then yeah. that doesn't mean that there's more than two channels of sound. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. You don't know, eh? Title, you don't know what you're talking about. You Title don't know, eh? Kind of like we, record, we record this in three channels. Yeah. Mm. So I could theoretically output, yeah. you know, me and Stav as the subs and then you as the, it's tweet, the Dom. As the tweeter. <laughs> Dom. The little, go, the little girl. The top. Power <laughs> top. Sub bull. Power bull top. And more the, 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 the bassy. <laughs> yeah. You're the fucking twink ass speaker. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. I didn't know there was a gay speaker. Yeah, there is. And it's Adam. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. He goes, he goes to conferences and explains to people how gay he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do it to fire yeah. up, uh, you know. Okay, kids. Uh, you know, uh, we're halfway through the school year, and as a special treat, we've got a gay speaker. <laughs> that's going to it's gonna really ramp you guys up no. and get excited about the second half of the year. You know, I know you think algebra is pretty fucking lame, but... You know what's a little lamer than that? <laughs> Putting another man's penis in your ass. <laughs> Starring Adam Friedland. And then Adam walks out on stage. Boom. No, I'm not a famous Boom. gay guy. I'm not an actor or a yeah. musician or anything cool. I'm just a regular gay yeah. guy who fucks men. No, I'd have like a Kids, music I used to on. be just like you. <laughs> Adam's Dr. Phil now. Yeah. <laughs> now, you might think it's cool to do drugs and say cuss words to your father. But I'll tell you what's really cool. Contracting HIV from a German nightclub. <laughs> from a Scheiße club. Yeah. <laughs> from uh, any any number of from men. the basement of Berghahn Techno Club. <laughs> I don't know who gave me HIV, <laughs> but I've, I've got it narrowed down to about forty seven people. <laughs> There's That's, a seventy two hour window where yeah. I know I contracted. There was it. a three and a half hour window where I contracted the HIV virus <laughs> in the third the aisle seventeen of a KB Toys <laughs> <laughs> after hour. <laughs> I had a friend named Marco who was the assistant manager of a KB Toys and he would let us into the mall and we would go in there and fuck next to the Barbie display. All 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 47 of us. Just one continuous gay sex chain. <laughs> one dick into one ass into dick. I guess, into I, ass. I guess 47 I guess, deep. I guess KB Toys got fucking owned by Toys R Us, huh? Uh no, did someone say business. that Mitt Romney Bain Capital bought it? Bain like, they baned them? Bane. <laughs> Fuck, I love Maybe KB. I'm wrong. Oh, Maybe oh, I'm wrong. I love toys. <laughs> I love playing with toys. I love seeing them. I love jokes, humor, toys. Oh, yeah, they're great. Tom the dogs out. Oh, who? If there's... Who, who, who? <laughs> that video the is the best. Video with all the little all black kids. Oh, oh God. That? I yeah, love that video. Oh, my God. Oh, if there's God. anything I enjoy, it's toys being given to children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Did you see that uh, tweet uh, after Trump tweeted out the, uh, the bleeding from the face thing? They... They asked Orrin Hatch what he thought. He's like, well, obviously, I don't think it was okay, but everyone's entitled to a dipsy doodle every now and then. Oh, yeah. man. A dipsy Mor- doodle. Mor- that's, that's when you rape a girl in 1920. <laughs> a that, dipsy that, 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 doodle. I thought that was a whoopsie. <laughs> a dipsy doodle. <laughs> a whoopsie is the abortion you make her get afterwards. Yeah. God. I grew up with so many Mormons, and all their moms were so hot. That's so cool, dude. Wow. Everyone's so moms? proud of you for growing up with Mormons. <laughs> 
<laughs> Everybody they were so. sexy. I will give like every dude. Like, their mom, Romney Young, was a fucking. That oh, guy was sexy. I mean, he was white. He was, was sexy old, dude. He had that he's perfect sexy. square jaw. Yeah, Mitt Romney could, never smoked yeah. a cigarette, never had a drink. He looks great. Oh, that's why his skin is so good. Yeah, he looks amazing. Mitt Romney could really fuck. That would be a funny like second half of his life if he just turns into like a I fucking sex he, fiend. He fucks bad. Like uh, they all fuck bad. Like, Mormons fuck bad. Like Gregory Marmalade does. <laughs> Gregory Marmalade. Who's that? Isn't he the the jock in? Uh, Animal House I don't remember I don't Maybe know. it's Revenge of the Nerds And I can't remember Which one Gregory That's a great Mar- name Gregory Marmalade Is from well, Sounds like Marmalade He's the prep from He's the evil prep Is know? he the guy that was in Married with Children also Yes He plays Jefferson In Married with Children That guy right I can't remember I think so Dude I used to love Married with Children When I was a little ass Damn, kid dude really? Kelly dog yeah, Oh yeah Kelly Bundy Christina Fapplegate Dude. Oh, nice! How about she that? is the hottest? Gregory Marmalade, Marmalade, Gregory Marmalade, That's Marmaduke. Do you remember that big ass dog that used to fuck up parties? Up, dude, <laughs> <laughs> used to ruin, make things messy. Yeah. Oh uh, no! Who's this bit is someone is else. Who's bit are you doing right now? I don't know. Who's Marmaduke joke is that? Who has a Marmaduke joke? Somebody. You're fucking doing somebody's. Mu- Somebody call him on that. This please. is. <laughs> I know he's doing it because I know you fucking. I know you've you said seen, this to have me. Have you ever before. seen Ed Schrader's Marmaduke cartoon? No. no. It is incredible. And what it's, is it? I'm jealous I didn't make it. I mean, it's basically it's what we do with everything. Someone's dog. But he someone's just, dick. He is. just took. Yeah, he just takes Marmalade. Mar, uh, Marmaduke. Marmaduke yeah. cartoons. And he fucking it makes him about Marmaduke sucking people's dicks. Yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta, look that up, guys. Marmaduke. I gotta clean. That's the come town clean. cultural tip of the week. We should start doing those because we're really. Is it Norm Macdonald that said that about Marmaduke? I don't fucking know, dude. <laughs> it sa- it seems like it's Cat Williams. Have, uh, no, yeah. he just mess he just messes things up because you quoted it to me. You were saying this guy did this funny thing about Mormon. No. <laughs> Who? I swear to God, no this way! Like a no fucking month way! Ago. You were telling me about somebody's Marmaduke bit. <laughs> oh, and come it was on! That. That's what it was. Oh, come on! Oh fuck Jesus <laughs> Christ It wasn't even a joke I was just talking about that dog That used to make things messy The fucking It wasn't a joke I just described the fucking comic You just did the premise You, you did No come on You were talking You are doing What come on I premise. never quoted anyone's joke to you About Marmaduke I've never heard a joke about Marmaduke you know who Besides the with? hilarious cartoon That I used to read every Sunday You know who I used to fuck with Is Heathcliff dude mm-hmm. You know who Garfield, I used to Garfield, Garfield in the streets Heathcliff in the sheets baby. You know who I used to fuck with Mallard Fillmore The conservative news reporting Duck, oh yeah, yeah, that was my guy. That's was that. Did he have his own cartoon? Yeah, all the punchlines used to be like uh, liberals or or pussies. I remember as a kid, there was really a Mallard Fillmore. Yeah, as, yeah. It was as like, a kid, I would get right leaning <laughs> cartoon. I would get the paper. I would yeah. look at the comics. And I'd be so excited to see them, and I'd read them, and I'd be like, "This is not funny." Yeah, uh, yeah. None of this kid, is funny. Yeah. The Far Side was funny. The Dude, far side was Family show. Circus. Yeah, Family Circus. <laughs> family that was circus. The biggest yeah. shit pile of all yeah, time. Right. <laughs> they open a lemonade stand and the E is backwards. <laughs> you know what's really annoying? Just a little slice of life for you. <laughs> Every day, brought to you by whoever that pedophile was. The <laughs> alleged pedophile. The who, f- that guy was a pedophile? Family Circus? Uh, no, that's why I said alleged. Oh, okay. great. <laughs> <laughs> You're alleging? No, we're lying. So we have to say alleged. I think he was actually like a real really like well-known family man and every character was based off his family well, what's shit. his name is like a big guy and like uh he's like a big pro-trump guy now what's his name the fucking oh, yeah, dilbert dilbert oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah scott yeah. dude i fucking scott. love those dilbert the, that i used that to get art that art school project that guy dilbert one two and three have you ever seen those no that's a good pick if anyone wants to look at a cool youtube video. another good twitter the one where he Jay shoots dilbert. up the office you guys ever Dilbert but gay? <laughs> Did somebody do that for real? For, I'm not even kidding. I used to draw. I used to draw Dilbert and gay scenarios. Oh, so I guess maybe they stole someone stole that. your shit. Uh, yeah, somebody probably stole my idea, Adam. Oh, so you're now thing- saying that your fucking Marmaduke was your idea? No. No, you should, we're talking about. I'm Dilbert. saying if you're trying, Why did you bring if you're up trying Marmaduke to, again, yeah, if you're trying to say that I steal shit, that's I call just, him Obama dude. That's, so that's just who I call that's him. just incorrect. That's your that's your trait, Dilbert but gay. That's great. Yeah. Let me see um, this. That's pretty good. I'm going to be on what the fuck this Mark Marin this Before we ever started Comtown, we uh, the three of us used to talk about doing an official Garfield 
uh, web series. <laughs> yeah, you remember that picture I drew at uh, Dilbert jacking off the Garfield in his office? No. No, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I do. Dilbert, it was a good picture. You're a good drawer, dude. Thank you, man. Yeah, you, I'm just you're trying to give you compliments to deflect from your criticisms. <laughs> I, here's, here's I a good swear one. to God. I'm Dilbert and I Who hate Who did pussy? the Marmaduke? <laughs> I don't remember. But I'm just going to Google Marmaduke stand-up. You said to me, you were telling me about somebody talking about Marmaduke. Who? And they were like... You know, it was so funny because they were like, you know, Marmaduke's just that dog that just makes things messy. That That's was just a fact. But you, it was up. something that somebody else said that you were... Ah, it doesn't matter. I'm jerking off to some really gay shit on the internet and I'm Dilbert. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I mean, right this up, is good this stuff, is right man. up my alley. Yeah. Uh... Oh man, I love this shit. Apparently, there's the a Twitter TJ now. Miller as Marmaduke. Maybe he that's is in love. Um, I don't know. What I used is. to fucking from the library. I used to I used to get <sighs> comic book comics like like the anthologies. That yeah, like Calvin shit. and Hobbes. You Most, have a lot of Dilbert actually as a little kid, dude. I used to fuck with Dilbert. Yeah, it's for smart people. When I was a kid, I thought Dilbert was yeah, for, yeah, for smart people. Sort of. Because they had jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if you were like a tie? I'm like, oh, this is for yeah, people exactly. who know how the computers work. Yeah, that's yeah, who yeah. reads Dilbert. It was too smart for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to, man, I used to pretend to read, like, to fucking be into so much shit because I wanted to be cool. Dude, you know what's really lame is when people have See, that I did book. the opposite. I, uh, like, I uh. hid the things I was into mm. a, a instead of pretending to like things. Well, I just thought, I just, like, I liked maybe one out of every eight Dilberts that I read, but I, like, I didn't get any of that shit. Yeah, of course. I liked not. Calvin and Hobbes. I didn't realize that it was an imaginary cat forever, though. I think Hobbes doesn't exist or something. Yeah, yeah. He's and that's the same with Winnie the Pooh, right? He's imaginary in that I think so. Christopher's mind? I don't think there's supposed to be any real... I mean, it's it, that that one's just a fantasy. A.A. A. Milne, whatever his name is. I don't know. The, 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 yeah, so he had an actual son. A.A. A. Hole named, named Christopher? Christopher Robbins or whatever. Christopher Robin. And then he made that, like, you know, book about... Christopher Robin and his stuffed bear poo and then that actual kid went to school and everyone's like you are such a faggot <laughs> <laughs> really yeah dude he was oh, like bullying and shit and then like it took him like his entire life to fucking get over being the fucking guy oh from wait Poo. that's like but wait it wasn't this in England yeah it's an English guy but, but there's an okay interview in England, with him right? from like later I mean, in life and he was yeah, like finally mean, he finally accepted it you're right then, you're a right homosexual <laughs> I don't know he's just some old old man that's like barely not bitter anymore and he's got like a, a mentally disabled daughter that he like Damn. just takes care of he's like a real sad guy that's that's you a better change your name for christopher robin dude. yeah he could have done it yeah you um know? yeah i would have changed my name to robert de niro if i was him it's really lame yeah. when people are really into <laughs> new yorker cartoons I always think those are like the lamp, the not not funny. Yeah, I don't think one has made me laugh. They're Adam, uh, you used to read the New Yorker cartoons, right? No, you we never had really a. We never had a. We never got the New Yorker growing up. My I parents had, were a TV family. I had a phase where I tried to read. Uh, for maybe like two years of my life, and I would, I would get the New Yorker. I got the New Yorker, but you it was such you a waste. You used to be subscribed to the New Yorker. Right? I used to subscribe. I used to come and to I, your house. I canceled it. <laughs> you because would fucking say shit like, "Did you read that thing in the New Yorker?" <laughs> oh fuck off! <laughs> oh fuck off again! That's, Please, you would say that. You got oh, the New Yorker, God. and you would you say just, that. There was a two year. No, period guys, of my life I was I literally getting shit. out of the car from Fourth of July yesterday, mm -hmm. and across the street there's a car that like parked at the stop. This dude rolls down a window. He goes. Ah, Adam, you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm yeah, like, dude, and I'm like, doing that. No, no. And, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then I look at him, I look at him and he goes, and I look at him and I'm like, who are you? And then he, he just like looks really sheepish. He's like, I'm cool. And then he rolls up the window. <laughs> Guys, keep No, doing you're that. just creating these lies where people think I'm a, wait, some wait, sort wait, of, hold on, time some out, sort time of out. Zionist pseudo-intellectual. Time out, time out. 
Sh- maybe there's a little bit that's, you know, maybe we're may- doing a bit about you stealing sometime or whatever, or whatever. But we're just we are not was lying. We are not lying about you being a bitch. Yeah. You are a bitch, even if you don't. I steal. accept it. So we're just if trying. If you see Adam in the streets, call him a bitch like that guy did, but don't be sheepish. That's about nonsense. Him. We're just trying because to you know help what? you. <laughs> when we gr- growing up, we're trying you to have help a friend you. that you make fun of. But if anyone else makes fun of that right. friend, right. you right. stick up for them. You're You're right. You guys, you guys would never welcome the other guy in your friend circle. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. add him as a valuable yeah. oh, you the piece You're of the shit. gatekeeper for the crew. Yeah. If I, someone mocks you good enough, yeah. <laughs> most that's, of them will that fail. That is not a way to most bully a friend. Most of them will yeah. fail. That is see, bad. See, that's a bad thing. bully. When people go to that's jail. That's a bad bully. I'm 30 years old. <laughs> I'm 30. <laughs> people go to jail. They think, oh, you just pick a fight with the biggest guy. No, you just rape the weakest guy yes. in there. Yes. And then yes. The, the big guys will be like, this guy's cool. He rapes people. Like we do. We were going to rape him, but now we see he's also a, ra- he's a rape he, guy. He rapes other men like we do. <laughs> so mm-hmm. we're going to play checkers with him. <laughs> it's true. Rape in prison in the, is in the, cool. In the television room. Okay, so just call Adam a bitch once, but don't make it a Well, anyway, thing. he DM'd me and then apologized. He's like, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. That guy's out. No, he's not out. He's out from apologizing. But why would you go up to someone you <laughs> don't know weakness. and call them a bitch? Well, were you, <sighs> did you look like you look right now? I just was I was taking something out of a trunk. Yeah, this is a very pool boy look you got. Yeah, you on. look like a bitch right now. Why do I look like a bitch right now? Because yeah. you're tanked. You up. you look like so, you're about well, to yeah, I have been to You the, look like you're about to I have to been to the pool quite a bit, gentlemen, with my <laughs> new girlfriend, actually. <laughs> you look like you're about to go into the Congo to compare your small dick with the gorilla's small dick. <laughs> It's so funny how dick small the dick <laughs> Can I like eat some of your blueberries? That's not how I sound. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> My name is Jeffrey. <laughs> um, what did you do for the Fourth of July? I went upstate to Ben's uncle's, Ben's rich uncle's summer house. The Was one Nick and I went to two years ago. Was there a pool? I can't believe there you is left a pool. without me, dude. I invited you guys three times. You yeah, but not. then you left like two days early. You didn't let us you know. You had to have when a you private leaving, romantic you know? getaway at Kathleen Turner's house with your precious roommate. <laughs> It wasn't just us, and I told you guys to fucking come. Were there girls leading leading no, there rose were, it was like it was me and it was bedrooms. me and two couples. <laughs> oh, okay. It was terrible, actually. Uh, it wasn't terrible. It was fun. two couples, three couple couples, guys. Couple of gay guys. No, no, no. I fucked. Yeah. No, heterosexual meant. couples. <laughs> yeah. As a matter of it, uh, for for your whatever that. Yeah, we're going up to the valley, say. dude. We're gonna go drink some seam up in the Hudson Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Swap seam. <laughs> seam. seam. We're seam sippers, bro. <laughs> seam sipping, dude. Sip sip in with my team favorite Dude I'm allies. fucking faded I'm fucking cross faded yeah, off this seam I'm, fu- I'm fucking lit off this seam Bro dude, I got a stomach ache I'll drink so much seam but I'm gonna keep drinking dude Yeah dude uh, you, Do you guys serve Roddy's here? Rod Stewart's? <laughs> yeah it's two liters of semen <laughs> In a fucking mason jar, <laughs> dude. Uh, I'll take an Arnold Palmer. Uh, ju- yeah, just Arnold Palmer's come. Yeah, <laughs> this is the Rod Stewart challenge. <laughs> well, yeah. My name is Jackass. <laughs> the Rod Stewart challenge, mm. like the fucking yeah, yeah. cinnamon Pepsi challenge. Taste test. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe do it funny, dude. Like a Pepsi taste test where it's like, uh, I'm like Which Northfield? one is better? And then it's like one of these is Pepsi, and the other is two liters of semen. <laughs> and then it's just a regular solo cup that clearly has Pepsi in it. And then like a two liter filled with semen. And they're like, but we're not going to tell you which one is which. And then the guy drinks the Pepsi. He's like, yeah, that's pretty good. And then he drinks like the two liters of semen. And he's like, yeah, I don't know. They're about the same. <laughs> it's like the same volume and viscosity and color. I don't, I can't tell the difference between the two. But I think I have to go to the hospital. That's a very good question, dude. Seam sips. Let's figure it out. What? By making Adam drink two Oh liters yeah, of cum. dude. It's so it would be so hard to collect two liters of cum. Yeah. How long do you think it would take you to get to two liters? Like a year. No. No, he's right. Yeah. Actually, longer than that. Longer. You, if you jacked off every. We did the math. We yeah. already did the math. You I did? did the math. Nick did the math I while what? Jake and I were there. What's the what's the what? That's crazy. It's something like seven hundred and twenty-three loads. Yeah. If you take the median load size. What if yeah. you're What if you're drinking a lot of water? You're having a lot what of if, What does water have diet? to do with cum? It doesn't matter. We took the average load size. But what I'm saying is, what could you do to juice up, to goose well, up your Well, also, you can't just, Nothing. You can't do like... That's you can't what come average s- like seven times in a row. You can't even come three times in a row. You got to regenerate that juice. 
I'm saying, how's the? What's the quickest you think you could get to it if you tried? Your we bet? just answered the fucking question. No, man, that's seven hundred and twenty-three years. What's the years? average fucking speed of a car for whatever you could go? No, that's not the average hour. speed of a car. It's what's what's the average fuel consumption of a car, which you absolutely oh, can. If answer. you come twice a year, it'd be like a year and a half or twice a day. Okay. But what I'm saying to you is, there's a way to get fatter loads. Yeah, Peter North, bro. And what do you fattest think it is? Loads. How do you think you get a fat load? Uh, I don't know. Ask what, Peter in your North. diet. Yeah, Peter North is it has. <laughs> All right, I'll text Peter North. He did have we'll some get fat him on loads. The show. We're gonna have Peter North, Senator Dude, Cory I Booker. I want that disease where your balls get fucking way elephantitis. Too big. You have enormous balls, and then you... Have you seen that video of that guy, like, coming for, like, an hour? No. He he has giant, swollen balls, but it makes him come more, too. Nice. It, it was on, like, e fuck. So this guy could probably get to get to a two-liter pretty quick. Yeah, sure. <laughs> See, well, that's what I'm saying, dude. Shut the f- <laughs> no. Give me that disease. You don't understand. You are not a fucking statistician. We're taking the <laughs> median. Appreciate. <laughs> no, nah, you motherfuckers didn't even know what average How long does it take to get to the moon? No, but imagine you had like a super fast ship that doesn't <laughs> exist. No, motherfucker. There's a way to get fatter how, how loads. Does it, how does it... Got, what, why couldn't you get to the moon in 30 seconds? No, it's not the same. It's the same. No, dude. You, you come more... Goose up your loads you come more if you're in love oh yeah yeah fuck you for if you're in love with cum yeah with cum with being gay (laughs) Adam just sits at home coming into his own mouth while that fucking (laughs) Looney Tunes factory song plays (laughs) 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 no no the the oh yeah 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 yeah. (laughs) 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 his roommate comes home and he just hears like yeah I'm singing it as I'm playing you're not singing it the song's just playing why is it muffled then because it's in your room and the door's closed I jack off in the living room and then your roommate goes, oh, I guess Adam's doing that thing again. <laughs> you jack off in the living room? No, I don't need to jack off, guys. I have sex all the time. Do you jack off in the living room? I have, yeah. Actually, since I stopped having a job, I've I jacked don't know. off That's, in the There's room too much times. space. I'm not worried about the privacy. Even if I'm home alone, even when I lived by myself, I couldn't jack off in the living room. I've done it. In the last two weeks, I've I beat off it. in the living room quite a bit. Well, it's, it's a really powerful feeling if you're alone at home. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Is like you live with it's roommates. Just not, it's you like, live with roommates your entire adult life. The no, second when I was, the door closes. When I was 21, I had my own apartment. And I never jacked off in the... Uh, in a, okay, in whatever. Room. What? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying well, is... Well, how about this? Would you jack off in the kitchen? This is not where you jack off. No, I've had but sex it's a in leisurely the area. The living room's leisurely. Kitchen sex is really fun. Yeah. yeah, fucking is different. Every once in a while, you'll off. fuck in the kitchen, but that's different. Well, what there's I'm a saying, lot of places I fuck that I would never jack off. <laughs> <laughs> like in the you laundry, have too much respect in the it. laundry room at a house party. I wouldn't go in there to jack off. <laughs> um, in a field in yeah. Vermont, is in those mine. <laughs> in those uh, in those like secret corridors in the mall that only the security guys yeah. know about. Those corridors are the fuck weird. Corridors. Dude. Yeah, yeah. When we, I was working for Wars, they were fucking like we'd have to go through when we were doing insults. We'd have to go through those fucking corridors. For who? Who we, we got locked in one of those for two hours one day. Me and Jesse were just making swastikas in the cardboard with fucking exacto knives. Hell yeah, yeah. dude! Yeah. <laughs> that sounds exactly like something he would do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Where were you? I was. I don't the, even know which one you're talking about. Big that's, Jesse. That's just like a shop guy thing. That's to just do. a shop boy <laughs> thing, dude. Yeah, make swastikas so, in the, <laughs> with exacto <laughs> knives. Exacto knives. <laughs> cardboard. Yeah, he gave us two hours long. Locked in a mall security. Did you, so you fucked this guy, Jesse? Yeah. No, it was just a guy Nick and I used to work with. When Ad, we had Adam, a man was, job. Adam was cross dressing and spinning around <laughs> in the behind Victoria's <laughs> Secret <laughs> women's underwear going, I wish that I was Jesse's girl. <laughs> 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 trying on makeup and shit. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, and then he started drawing like a naked chick and. He was like, dude, this is cool. It's like we have porn here. So, like, we could be here forever. That's a joke from Friends. Is that? Yeah. Well, he did that. Joey did that. Well, I guess he was So, Adam's doing a joke from Friends now. (laughs) (laughs) I'm... Oh, God. So, no one told you life was gonna be this way. People can fact check your jokes. (laughs) Your acts a bunch of shit you stole from TV. (laughs) It's not part of the act, dude. 
And now everyone's calling you on your joke there. (laughs) You know what my act is, dude. I don't do any observational comedy. It's all anecdotal. It hasn't been your bit, your joke, your riff, (laughs) or even your idea. (laughs) This is bullshit. Not even your premise. (laughs) Oh, my God. Because Adam steals all the jokes. (laughs) Try and think of something. All of you guys, you guys steal from me all the time. No, that's not true. What the fuck are we going to steal? You steal from me constantly, Nick. And what have I stolen <laughs> ever? Uh, we can talk about this off mic, but you no. stole, <laughs> talk about it right now. We can talk about it off mic. Personally, I don't like having fights in front of 150,000 listeners. Dude, we got week. two million. Are we up to 150,000? We got yeah, two that's, million. Well, that's the number I just made up. Yeah. It's actually only. 700 people listen <laughs> <laughs> Incredibly dedicated We just figure out a way To juice the numbers Yeah um, I love juicing dude Oh yeah Yeah I've been having smoothies again I'm back on the smoothie Sorry. train Although I went I buck asked, wild on, asked, the, on the 4th I asked Julia Vins If she'll do the podcast And she's not responding That's a that's Oh the, fe- the female it? bodybuilder Nick's in love with Is yeah. gonna do the podcast she's come Hopefully on. Has she seen it? Is this Coney uh, Island? No she hasn't On the screensaver On your TV? I don't no. know this is, this is, Dude, too nice. That is my favorite place in New York. I went. I went. Uh, a you know what days I'm ago. a big fan of? The Empire State Building. No, no, it's different. Have you heard of it? Coney Island is a fucking. Like, it's got everything. Post nuclear freak show. Just used so be, many used fucking. Real fucked up. You know what I, I want to watch again? Uh, Requ- Warriors. Requiem for a Dream. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, Brighton Beach. I thought the same it's shit. Right next to each yeah, other. Yeah, same shit. But uh, yeah, those fucking apartment blocks are so massive. Yeah. With those old Russian and those fucking Russians, we, we walk down to Brighton. There's like they just go outside every day and they're purple. Just those yeah. old fucking men. Yeah, they all look like they're grimace. Just, yeah, they're just <laughs> a grimace in a diaper. <laughs> they look insane. Yeah. Shout out Stefan Marbury. We should get some of those Russian gang tattoos. I know. Yeah, if you, yeah, yeah. Like Eastern promises. If, if you got caught with them, you, you, they'd probably get mad. But they're the coolest looking tattoos. <laughs> in the Schwitz in the East Village. Adam, they're Let's do those that. Guys. We'll get. I know what they all mean. So I'm going to get the stars on my shoulders, and then you can get cat eyes on your lower back, <laughs> and that that means we're like friends with each other. <laughs> and then everyone will know. Yeah, everyone will know. Yeah, but make sure that you get cat eyes on your lower back. <laughs> I want everyone to know though. because that's <laughs> that means you're the coolest of the Russian guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. <clears throat> I want to know what cat eyes. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, you should look it up. I'll look it up. I'll tell you later. Um, Don't tell Adam, though, when you find Okay, I won't. What if I got What if I got bear claws on either titty? That's good. Do you think that's, that's a good, good look? One. Yeah. I want to get a gun on my stomach. Yeah. That's cool. There was a girl that did open mics at w- Wiseacres that used to have two, like, revolvers pointing to into her yes. pussy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I love that look, and dude. And then, uh, like, a six on her lower back and then another six on, like, the back of her elbows. So nice. Like six, six, six. The devil. Us. She yeah, got a devil pussy. Real, real dark mentality. Oh, you know? Dude. That's, uh, that's me, dude. I'm dark. Hmm. A lot of people don't realize how dark I am. <laughs> dude, you're fucking tortured. Dude, I'm fucking... That, that video of Danzig Yeah With the rules. books Welcome to my book collection <laughs> <laughs> It's like 11 books <laughs> That's uh, He is the funniest person in the world A 40 year old who's into Halloween Yeah <laughs> Being a Halloween guy is yeah. so funny this is, These are all These are all uh, Verified stories Verified verified, <laughs> verified werewolf stories <laughs> Yeah So basically this werewolf Is coming out of a clearing And he's shaking a baby in his mouth Pretty wild. <laughs> yeah, that's just some of the dark stuff I think about. My dark mentality. And people who ever knew what was going on in my mind. They probably locked you me up. You think Danzig goes to the beach? Uh, no, he seems like an indoor he's guy. An indoor guy. Dude, I went to his Stupid house like three in times. In L.A., yeah, I he said. Yeah. <laughs> I kept having to go look again. It was. It's too funny. It's just a bungalow? It's a bungalow. It, yeah, it's, it, it, yeah, it's like a big, uh, I don't know what, what those are called. It's like... Um, Ranch house? No, it's not a rancher. It's bigger than a bu- uh, bungalow. Arts and crafts. A yeah, turbo yeah. bungalow. One story? Maybe two. Split level? No, not split level. Oh, okay. Damn. Damn. Yeah, like I guess maybe like a California bungalow. Is yeah, yeah. Nice. It be. But it's, it looks bigger. Than I love that. the word bungalow. It's nice. Yeah. It's fun. Um, Sounds like you get head in there. We should get a bungalow, the three of us. I'd like to, I'd like to get a bungalow. Dude, I just That'd want a hammock. I want a fucking, we're going to put a coconut bra and stop. Absolutely. Hilarious. Yeah. I'm going to be great. I'm going to start drinking skirt. again. 
grass skirt. I'm going to kill us all on a boat accident. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. Now nah, we're going to reboot Gilligan's Island, dude. We're going to get trapped. A three hour tour. You know? Yeah. Well, I feel like they would have found them. You, here's an interesting fact. Good way to close out the podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> um, the Titanic, James Cameron's Titanic, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the ship starts sinking and then it splits in half. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they denied that that happened until they found the wreckage. That was like... The company that owned the uh, Titanic, the White Star Lines, refused to allow people to think that the ship split in half. So all the portrayals of the sinking of the Titanic prior to that were the ship going down and like going straight up vertical. in the air. Yeah, going down vertical. Yeah. Because they didn't want people to think it was uh, structurally unsound. What? It yeah. fucking sank. So then like eyewitness... Uh, there was eyewitness testimony of all these people saying like, no, the ship's split in half. And they're like, no, you're just crazy. What? Yeah. What the fuck? What do they mean they didn't want it to be unstructurally sound? They fucking it's saying who gives a fuck if it snapped or not. The you company. Fuck, you killed everybody. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Fuck them, dude. Fuck well, the White Star Liner. Yeah, it was the captain. I'm glad it's like. It was? Yeah, it was the Because he didn't turn. Or the night watchman or whatever. Yeah, he couldn't see the iceberg. Well, no, they just kept, they had reports of icebergs and then they kept going anyways. Iceberg, Dad. What a fucking what a! I hate the Titanic. <laughs> I fucking hate that dumb. It's such a fucking meaningless tragedy. I know. And, it's not even that much of a tragedy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like two thousand like people, people a right? hundred years ago. No, the rich people all lived. Yeah, the, the rich poor people, people died. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that yeah. sucks. But then, but you, why I don't like that is because that's sort of just a footnote to the story, anyways. People are like, yeah, and then it was fucked up because they made all the poor people die. But, you know, it's about these poor lost souls, mm-hmm. you know, and it's like, it's no, no, it's just a dumb, it's who cares? Who gives no, a yeah, shit? It's about I bet a you young, a thousand, there was much bigger sinkings in that time I period. bet you a thousand They're all poor military people related, so. died the in Lusitania. a fucking, Well, there was a German ship that was fucking sunk. Well, the Germans were fucking up ships with U-boats. Yeah. There was a German ship that was sunk, but Germany had, like, kind of a... Uh, it was, like, a bunch of... Uh, I think, like, troops that were trying to evacuate or something, but it was, like, 9,000 people died. It was huge. Hmm. I just feel like a lot of poor people were dying in factories to make, like, canned, like, uh, meats. Yeah. More so the than... The Triangle were. Shirtwaist Factory, which is now just some NYU building. Yeah. It's still oh, there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's right by, it's, uh, right by Washington Square Park. Yeah, it's in the LES. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, it's you know, yeah, more, more the west side, yeah. so you're wrong, Adam. <laughs> Incorrect, and you're... Uh, where, where is it? Oh, oh what? Greenwich what's, Village. Oh, what's this? Mr. The, Tidbit. The, the Villaggio. It's in... Uh, the I call the village the Villaggio. The, the Vaggio. <laughs> yeah. Remember that in fucking Grand Theft Auto where they just... They called the, the Vespas the... The Faggio. The Faggio. Fa- 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 yeah. yeah. This is a homophobic yeah, yeah. joke in the game. So funny. Yeah. So Dude, good my joke, friend, man. My friend... I was hanging out with my friend and his girlfriend one time and he... He's pronounced Faggio. He said he was talking about how he really wanted to get a Faggio and she got... They got in like a one hour fight next to me about yeah. him saying Faggio. <laughs> he's like, what? That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't like you using those words. That's so funny, dude. It's yeah. so funny the dumb shit you like fight with women about. <laughs> yeah, it's really great to just be hanging out with a couple fighting. Yeah, that's, that's the most fun. <laughs> thing Did I ever tell you I had like I had like a relationship, pretty much be destroyed by doing the parody song. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> in the car, you were on a road trip. Yeah, there, yeah, right? yeah. Because yeah. she got stuck in the car with me. Doing the like, well, I'm the kind of guy who fucks his mom and dad. She's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, me and Elders were hanging out um, this weekend a lot with his girlfriend. And I think like, it was like, I mean, and she's cool as shit, but it's like. He got a girlfriend? Huh? He got a girlfriend? Yeah. But it's like cool. the third consecutive day that you What's see. What's Elders' last name? Uh, I'm not telling people's last name. Oh. You'll find him. He's easy. But, uh. But I think the third consecutive day was like you spending time with your boyfriend and his best friend talking about sucking each other. Wait, off. say this again. Your boyfriend and who? If you're her and you spend oh, like three yeah. days in a row with me and eldest yeah, talking yeah. about like sucking each oh, other's dick at gunpoint yeah, yeah. and shit like that, it's like <laughs> yeah. I remember uh, Ari was like selling you uh, selling you those edibles, mm-hmm. and he like texted me. And he's like, dude, stop like really 
really talks like that. <laughs> yeah. He's like, come get sucked off and stuff. He's like, dude, I didn't, I thought he was just joking. Like that was like, a I mean, bit. I am joking. He's like, no, no, Stav like talks that way. <laughs> yeah. That's how I invited yeah, People don't realize home. that we're all doing characters and that I'm like a method actor. Yeah. Yeah. We are doing characters. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually Michael Fassbender. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that makes In sense. In real life. Yeah. I'm not doing a character. This is me, baby. Real, all, all real name. No, gimmicks. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to become a professional actor. Hollywood, if you're listening, put me in the next Alien movie. I'm trying to be a fat guy in commercials, dude. That's Look, like a here, thing, I'll dude. do some acting right now. Look out! It's an alien! Ah. What do you mean we're getting a divorce? Oof. But I can't be retarded. I'm the president. <laughs> <laughs> That's, these are all for my screenplays. That's good. That's good. That's yeah. uh, good. I think Nick. I think you'll be an actor. I believe in you. Thank you. I believe um, in you sucking my cock. Thanks for the. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> so I believe in your ability to suck me off. So uh, royally so as well. Um, sorry, I'm looking at Julia Vins's Instagram. Dude. Well, that'll do it for the uh, <laughs> today's episode. Oh, I have yeah. to uh, I have to make a quick trip into the laundry room. <laughs> you and Adam <laughs> with Julia uh, Julia Vince's Instagram. Oh, You're man. gonna tape your phone to the back of Adam's head and look at her <laughs> yeah, Instagram yeah, yeah. while you fuck him in the yeah, ass. Put, those, put the phone right in between the cat eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Julia, strong <laughs> Julia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, goodbye. 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 Uh, goodbye.